we thank God for his mercy and his favor that he has given us another day, another chance to enjoy his love, his mercy and his favor. I want to talk about, you know, our family problem. Family problem is beyond anyone's capacity here as a human being. It is only Jesus who can take away, I mean, who can remove you out of that situation. And when I, you know, I talk about that one, I'm talking about this limitation, rising and falling, age limit in our family, the common, you know, sickness or disease in our family. What killed our dad, our mom, it is now, you know, here to take our life again. What causes your grandfather to be in poverty? It has come again to our life. This is a family problem which you cannot handle as a human being. Jesus came. He came to do what? This is the question we need to ask. Jesus is not history. Don't take him as a, you know, history. It's a reality of that life where God is in control. He came to break that, you know, limitation in our family. It doesn't matter where you are coming from. I've been talking about this. Look at Moses. Moses was, you know, like, uh, he'll never see uh, uh, five years, or let me say uh, one year, or two years, or three years. Because of what happened the time that this child came to this life. Look at Joseph. If you don't know, Jacob had so many children. They are children that, you know, came from his housemate. On both wives, the maid of this wife gave birth to him. The maid of this wife gave birth to him. But you can't find them here. Because they were not, you know, part of the promise of God. If you follow the journey, you discover that, you, anyway, let me not go there. I don't want to mislead you. Let me focus on this one. Family limitation is what I want to talk about so that you know that it is not what you know your family believed or your grandfather or your grandmother or your dad or your uncle. No. But what Jesus came for is what we are here for. It's what we exist for. If you know that what Jesus came for is what I exist for, then you are not part of that family limitation. If you accept the situation in your family, then you'll be like your grandfather. You'll die with BP. You'll die with cancer. You'll die with diabetes. Because this is what is, you know, has been killing our family members. If you go to the hospital, the doctor will ask you a question. Is there anyone who had this problem before now? If you say, yes, my grandfather said, yes, this is where these things are. No, that is not your portion. Hmm? If they ask you this question, answer them to say, no, Jesus had no sickness in his body. Eh? <laughs> Jesus had no what? No sickness, no BP. But where are you getting this one? Because this one is very common to... You know, family members and what and what. I, I, I'll just quote the, the scripture that you know. John 14. Because we are too familiar with the word of God. And when you become familiar with the word of God, there are scriptures that you may see like these are nothing. They can, ah, we have been healing. Uh, I am the way I'm what. No, 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 no. As the spirit leads, the same John 14 verse 1, 
can bring solution to your problem. Where others are just looking at it as record. For me, the way I read Bible, if you were, you know, we sit together, you, you, you may end up asking me questions to say, ah, what are you doing? I can read one chapter from morning up to evening. That is me. Because I want that scripture to be part of me. Unlike the way you read the Bible, pia, 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 pia. how many? I started with uh, chapter 9. Now I'm in chapter 15. Where are you going? Hmm? Is there any change that you have seen? Or you are just now feeling this? You want to sleep? You are tired? If it is the Holy Spirit who is in you, when you lead, you receive interpretation. You start getting what? The benefits of that scripture. This Bible is not here for, you know, for record purpose, no. We use this record to connect ourselves to the power of God. Okay. This is 14. Do not let your heart be troubled. <clears throat> you believe in God. Believe also in me. My father's house has many rooms or mansions in other versions. If that were not so, I would have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you. Let me repeat this one again. My readings are not correct. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, I would have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me. Let me just pause there. Jesus said, do not be what? Troubled in your heart. Believe in my father. Believe also in me. In my father's house, there are so many looms. Jesus came to do what here on earth. I want to connect you now to this message. The time that he came here on earth, he left a place for you there. A nice place for you. He came to collect what was wrong in your life. He came to destroy that demonic foundation where Satan was manipulating our family members. This is why if you continue leading, he will tell you that I am the way, the truth, and life. No one goes to my father except through what? Me. Meaning, no one can succeed here on earth except through what? Me. What released Jesus from the evil hands here on earth is the power I want to introduce to you. So that you too can be released the same way Jesus was what? Released. They quoted whatever they quoted in his time to say, we know his father, we know his siblings, we know the mother, but they don't know his source. If there is power, I mean, if there are powers, there is only one power. The Holy Ghost what? Power. If you look at where we are coming from, you discover that the same problem your dad, your mom was facing, you are also facing the same problem. Think twice. Before you give your children the same what? Foundation. What was, you know, there before you came to this life? It has come to your life again. You can see the signs. The same problem your grandfather, your grandmother was facing, you have seen the signs. Jesus came in order for you to be disconnected totally from that foundation because it was not properly done. Something was wrong. He said, I am the way, the truth, and life. He left heaven. 
to come and correct the wrong committed by your forefathers. And Jesus became successful here on earth. He became popular. Not because of anyone. No. Because of the power of God in his life. Not because of his disciples. No. You cannot live here peacefully. Even if you know you are counting money, you are educated, you are whatever position you are holding. There are people that you admire when you look at them physically. They don't sleep in the night. They are sleeping with doctors in their houses. That limitation of sickness in their family is fighting them. That limitation of confusion is fighting them. That spirit of Mary and Mary is fighting you. It is, it is what I am talking about. I am not talking about limitation in business. This is a general what? Confession from me. There are so many areas where we are affected in our family. There are others who are you know, being affected by age limit. You cannot go beyond 51. You cannot go beyond 70. You cannot live peacefully in your marriage because of that foundation. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Today, Jesus will help you to get out of that mercy so that you leave a proper foundation for your children. It is not good, people of God. You know that this is a problem that has been there for years and years. And you cannot fight for your children to end that problem. How can you fight? You believe in God Almighty and you believe in his son. That is Bible. When you retire, the poverty will be your neighbor. They know you as a general manager. They know you as what manager? After your retirement. No one can even recognize you that this is Murenga coming, our former manager. The appearance is totally, I don't know. It's like you have never been employed or worked in any good company. Satan has lavished your life using the foundation where you are coming from. If it was possible for our Savior to defeat the world, I mean Satan himself and his people, it will be possible for you if you believe in him. Don't read the Bible like history. Apply it to your life. To change your life. To separate you from that family limitation. Where there is marry and remarry. You can just live one year, two, three, four years. Problem comes in your marriage. We are crucifying Jesus again through our you know, confession. It's like Jesus should die for nothing. If truly uh, your name works or your power works, I've been praying for this man. I collected anointing water from uh, the one who, who came from Nigeria. I drink from the one who came. I collected oil. I collected. You count how many mi ministers that you have encountered and then the situation remains what? The same. Are you going to stick to your confession? You will change. You will change. There you are crucifying him. You are making him to be a fake. In fact, we have made the name Jesus to be unpopular. This is why you see which doctors are all over our streets. They are everywhere. Because we keep on consulting. Keep on what? The name Jesus is here. Is there with you. The solution. The destiny changer. I hope you are getting the point out of this message. He is the only way. It's because of time. You can go and read all of it. Whoever has seen me has seen my father. The mission of God Almighty is to make sure that you are settled properly. You are settled in a way that you keep on appreciating God. No matter what comes along the line, because of what you have received from him, will make you to stand and overcome every mountain 
Because he said in Romans 10 verse 11 that anyone that believes in me shall never be put to shame. This includes everyone. Whether you are a drunker, a smoker, immediately you quit your bad habits and believe in Jesus, you become a new born baby. You inherit his blessing. The same, look at Jesus. He was mistreated, insulted, beaten, and killed. He defeated the insult. He defeated whatever was there. At the end of the day, he defeated death on your behalf. So that you can have that hope. If Jesus were to be up to now, he's still, you know, on the ground. And we are saying he's our savior. Which one is your savior? Hmm? He has been, you know, lying there for years and years, 2,000 years. Can you call him your savior? No. The man defeated death to give you hope that this is the way to live. Even if you face this, 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 know for sure that I have laid a foundation for you. Forget about that foundation of idol worshiping. Forget about that foundation of marry and remarry. Forget about that foundation of addiction to smoking, drinking. I am the foundation. Whoever follows me will see life. It is too much people of God. And these are the weapons of the devil. Satana is using your situation to mislead you. He's always whispering to you that you have been praying. Is there anything that you can say that this and that? You are wasting your time. Heaven is our home. That's why Jesus came. To say there is a place for you. But let me prepare something here on earth so that you can survive while it's here. Don't be deceived by anyone. It is only Jesus the hope of life. Human beings cannot be your hope or your solution. We keep on crying and crying. Our law as a church is to give people hope that there is life after this life. In fact, that life is more important than this life where we are. Where there is no love, there is no unity. There is no truth. You can't find the truth. Even the people that you trust and respect that this one, by the time you know the type of the person, you'll be disappointed. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Just believe in my Father and believe also in me. In my Father's house, there are so many mansions, meaning there are so many blessings for you. We are going to use the blessing from there in heaven, you know, that you can live for here on earth. Believe in my father. Why are you trusting yourself? You trust your prayer. When you pray, no, it is not your prayer. Believe in him. When you believe in Jesus, who can stand against Jesus? Is there anyone? No one. No one. Jesus is your father. He came because of you. Why are you not considering, you know, his mission here on earth? You want to seek another alternative? You can't find any solution to that alternative. He is your solution. When you read the Bible, connect your life to the word of God. The word will lead you now. To your father Jesus. He is the owner of the word. The same problem. You are also facing the same problem. And you are comfortable. No. No. I say no people of God. It's not good. It's unfair. I know what I went through when I was very young. And I can't allow my children to go through of what I have gone through. I have to sacrifice. By making sure that I connect myself to the life of Jesus. The hope of what? Life. 
This family limitation is, everyone is affected. Because we believe so much in our family. I'm not saying we should you not know, denounce our family. No. But there's no way Satan can use the respect I give my grandfather as a tool to destroy my children. No way. I cannot. No, this is the way your grandfather, to hell with him. It is only the life of Jesus that can give solution to our problem. If my grandfather was a witch doctor, should I continue respecting those idols? No. If he was a polygamist, should I continue marrying and marrying? No. My children will be affected badly. More especially a girl child. Men enjoy this, you know, flitting around with different women. But a girl cannot enjoy, you know, such type of life. It is a very painful life. This is why you need to sacrifice. Jesus is the way. He came because of your life. He came because of your children. He came because of the future of your grandchildren. What are you doing? The solution is there. And the solution is Jesus. Don't go to church because it is Sunday. Don't praise any man of God and then you are not praising your creator. You are wasting your time. You get nothing but problems. He said, I am the way, the truth, and life. Do not let your heart be troubled. Just believe in God. And believe also in me, his son. God did not let you, you know, be like the way they used to uh, live before now. He considered you to be part of him. That's why he sent his son to say, go and bring my people back to me. Jesus is the solution to your problem. Amen. Amen. Look at what he went through. The insult, the beatings, accusing him wrongly. He defeated all those persecutions. At the end of the day, he defeated what? Death. No one could kill Jesus as long as it's not, you know, God's time. In fact, everything that he went through, it was the process declared by his father. So, this is my message. Think about the future after your life. Think about the future of your children after you. If truly you love your children, connect them to Jesus. We are affected, not because of what you have done, but because of the foundation. It is the foundation that misleads all of us. Before you know it, you are doing, you know, something which was there before you came to this life. And the family members who are there who just now telling to say, Even if you are in trouble, my friend. Let them say you are walking like Jesus. You are talking like Jesus. You live like Jesus. There, there is joy in your life. Hmm? Family what? Limitation. Is what is affecting all of us. It is a common thing. Whether you like it or not, it is very common. Even if you go to the mountain 20 times a day, as long as Jesus is not your foundation, you are still in that foundation. My prayer is that today, Jesus will help you to get out of that mercy. So that, you know, whatever you say here, shall be said in heaven. And the future of your family, your children, shall be secured through your what? Your prayer. Do you believe that Jesus came for you? Are you sure? Eh. But why are you not trusting him? Hmm? Why are you not trusting Jesus? You are complaining every day. There are people who are being used not because they want to do whatever they are doing. 
It is the foundation which is at work. Is it that your wife or your husband is misbehaving? You keep on blaming your wife. You keep on blaming your husband. And yet, you are forgetting where you are coming from. That this is what made my mother or my father to go on separation. Think about that one. Thank you. God bless you.